Hey, what's up, guys? Wolf and Empty Curtain here, and this video is on how to set up your homemade incubator. Um, now, this will be using a old bar fridge. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, um, let's get started. Okay, so in there, I've already got some eggs, and they should be due to hatch soon. Um, and then, this bar fridge actually has a, um, water tray thing. It's meant for, like, fruit or something, but we use it as a water tray. And then, it's meant to have multiple shelves, but one shelf does just fine. So, what you actually need is you need probably an electric, uh, not electric, um, well, yeah, a, um, digital thermometer. And you probably need a manual one as well, just in case. And you'll also need a any type of um, thermostat. Um, this one's a microclimate uh, temperature control system. Um, so yeah, these are pretty simple to use. Um, we've got it set to, there you can see it's about 30 degrees Celsius and about, I don't know, I think that's about on 86 probably, uh, degrees Fahrenheit. So, this goes up to power, and then, um, this one goes to the, um, actual heating cord which I think is the best uh, the best option so we've got a heating cord that goes all the way around the whole uh, incubator or bar fridge and we've just got these little wire hook things um, and we just drilled little holes into the sides just um, to keep it in place and that works really well. It um, gets a really nice circulation going. Oh, and then also, we've got the heat cord. I'm just show you the heat cord. Just there. So that right there is where um, the temperature is measured for the um, thermostat to turn off. So if it gets too hot. And the thermostat will turn itself off, and uh, the thermostat will actually turn the heating cord off, and um, it'll turn itself back on after it gets like two degrees under or something, something along the lines of that. And you probably um, won't want, like, if you just have like this is our old Exoterra one, well, it's a cheap version, but we didn't know that when we bought it. Um, and it wasn't very good, but if you just have something small like this, is like this is pretty small compared to that, then you probably won't want um, a um, heating cord that's long like this. You probably just want one that goes down, up, down, up, down, up along the sides because it'll get way too hot in there. And as you can see at the back there, it has a fan. The fan isn't necessary. Um, it just regulates the temperature a lot more than it would. So as you can see, on the digital thermometer, it's 30.1 degrees uh, Celsius at the top. And it's 26.7 at the bottom. Now that's because I've just opened it also. Um, so yeah, it doesn't, it'd normally be like 28 and 30. Um, so 28 at the bottom and 30 at the top blowout. Um, but yeah, at the moment because I've just been opening it, it's um, uneven at the moment. So now I'm not sure if this thermometer is right. Like I didn't think these could be wrong. Um, but yeah, at the moment it's reading about 33, which I think's wrong because that's only set to like 30 and it's still on so yeah there's something wrong with this this actual thermometer 
looks really retarded. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, just make sure that if you do have a small one, you don't get a huge heat cord um, that'll ruin it. Like, if you, if you do have a broken incubator that's broken on you, um, just one that you've bought, um, I would actually just look for the repair part on the, um, on the actual website of the store that you bought it from or something, because this one, the, um, heater is broken, I think, yeah, it was the heater, um, the fan and everything still works, so we could fix this one day, um, by just getting the right, um, equipment. So, yeah, if we wanted to, we could fix it, but this is just so much better. Seriously, if, you, if you're if thinking of buying one, just don't waste your money. Just make one if you've got the room, and even if you just use an Esky, oh my god, the b biggest blowout. If you just use an Esky, far out. It's pretty late at night, and I keep forgetting to make this video, so I'm just making it now. Um... So, subscribe, because I'm making some late night videos and stuff. So, thanks for watching, guys. Wolf from Empty Kent here. Signing out.